Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. How are you doing, Miss Nikki? I'm doing good. Now, uh, we're shooting in the cabin today and it's fall, so if mm -hmm. you hear noises, it's... Acorns falling. Acorns falling, limbs falling, trees falling. Scares whatever. me. You know, the other day we were, Nikki and I were out here splitting wood, mm -hmm. and we dropped a big tree. I know the story. The tree fell on a stump. The stump was a stump that I wanted removed. It had mm -hmm. been there for probably 50 years. Big old stump, knocked it out, and I went to look at the devastation that it caused the stump, mm -hmm. and I felt something weird. Next thing you know, I felt the sting here and a sting here and a sting there, and yellow jackets just totally, they were under that stump. Yeah. So I ran as fast as I could towards the backyard. Nick, had a Nick video. Running, had a video. <laughs> and, you know, swatting, he was swatting them out of my hair and trying to kill them. I, I ended up with probably 20, 25 stings in the forehead, temple. Luckily, you're not allergic. So be careful out there. This is the time of year, fall is the time of year where they're really, you yeah. know, they're, they're hitting the ground, they're taking their food in, they're guarding it, they, you know. You guys didn't get video? Have you guys running we down didn't the hill? Get video. You wouldn't okay. want video. He said they were just swarming around my head. He was running ahead of me, and he was, he thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, I bet he did. I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> But anyhow, be careful out there because it's uh, it's fall. And you know what else it is? <gasps> it's spooky time. Now she loves her holidays. I just I just. Where's our costumes this year? Well, we, we've. I tell you what, we had costumes last year mm -hmm. and we had costumes the year before, and we'll show a little bit of that later. Okay. Her idea. My favorite costumes. Her idea. <laughs> and tonight I thought we'll leave the, the Halloween stuff to somebody else. I okay. heard Kelly behind the camera. She, she just happens to be our daughter. She was talking about this place up in Bald Knob, Kentucky that's supposedly haunted. So Ooh. after we get our fall smorgasbord created, maybe we take a trip up there just to see what's You'll take me to a haunted house? Yeah. I love haunted right. houses. Okay. Thank you. I'm not scared. All right, but it is full. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's really interesting since we've been a part of the Elmwood stock farm and mm -hmm. we get our big bag full of organic groceries. Right. Basically, they go out and take what's on the farm and they hook you up and I didn't grow a big garden this year, so they it's nice grow it for us. So how do we determine what we eat generally? By what we have. By what we have mm -hmm. and what we're hungry right. for. So not too long ago, we had our pork processed. Right. Now we made a video out of this, and it shows you each part and piece. Now let's look at where the shank is right here. Now that is a lot of times utilized in soup beans and, and things like that because it has so much flavor. The right. bones in it, there's some fat on it. Anytime you cook that bone in with pork and the fats on it, you're gonna have a good taste. Right. So we're gonna do something with a shank tonight. It's it's quick and easy. It's very quick and easy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of delicious, mm -hmm. would you say? I'd say. Then we're gonna take our squash. We have an acorn squash. Let's mm -hmm. show those off real quick. These are easy to grow. We didn't grow any, but we got them in our bag. Dumpling squash. Okay. Acorn squash. With the piece of paper that tells you what you've got, and what mm -hmm. to refrigerate and whatnot, it tells you, it gives you a little recipe. Now, we're gonna kind of follow the recipe, kind of not, but it's something typical we do with carrots and we do with, with sweet potatoes. And, right. And it's something that we've done for years and years and years. You can take a little squash like that, which already has a wonderful flavor, and enhance that right. with some stuff. Is that not a perfect Sounds sign? Sounds delicious. You've seen this before. I have. You know how it turns out. What, tell them what we're making. We're gonna turn it into a taco. What would you call that? I would call it a pork shank taco. Pork shank taco, it's delicious. And you know what, we cooked this in the oven. Now, this could have been a cowboy cooking episode. Mm -hmm. We could have very well done this outside. Now, it does take a little longer to cook this and you want to slow cook it right. and you want to get it done until it's falling off the bone because the end result, again, is delicious. That's what I'm talking about. So, we are going to start this out right here. We're going to braise this. We're going to seal all that flavor in. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is we put some oil in here and we've got our shank right here. When this gets good and hot, I'm gonna braise that. Now, Mrs. Farmer, if you will, while I'm doing this, not too long ago, we made some ribs outside. Mm -hmm. Now, this is gonna have some moisture in the bottom of it as well to help it cook and help it get right. tender. But we made a little stand out of the onions on our ribs, and that was a very popular yeah, segment. People really liked our ribs. We're gonna do kind of the same with this. We're gonna build just a little stand to put this up on so it's okay. not totally submerged in the liquid that we cook it in. If you don't mind, make me a little stand there. And you can also put these in, you know, whatever's left in with the juice. Anything sufficiently braised? Looks good. Smells good. Doesn't it smell good? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's our braised shank. So the next step, we're just going to take some regular mustard. We're going to give this a nice little coating. Now, pork and mustard are friends. Yes. 
from the old hot dog to whatever. You can make, I mean, they're not enemies by any means. What's this gonna do? Well, it's gonna kinda seal it up a little bit more and it's gonna provide a sticky base for my jar up. Yeah. Which I'm gonna, this is my own concoction. Which is delicious. Which is top secret. Okay. Well, sort of top secret. You know, dry rubs are, are so easy to make, and it's according to what you like. Some people like a lot of chili powder. Some people like more paprika. Some people like cumin. Some people don't want any cumin. There's so many things you can put. Or some people go really heavy on the uh, onion powder. I don't like so much onion powder. Some people like garlic. Some people don't. So it's a it's a personal thing. So we've got our shank properly seasoned and your stand which you beautifully carved out. Thank it's nice you very and very artistic. Thank you. I'm gonna set that right over here. Okay. Set that on that. We're not done. We're gonna put something else in here. We're gonna take this shank. So we can eat that onion too. Oh yeah. And you can take those extra onions too if you'd like and put in here one of them we used for another stand. Okay. Now here's something else we're gonna do. Fresh jalapenos, are you kidding me? What Delicious. are we gonna do with that? Hmm. Tell you what let's do. Let's take some cream cheese. Okay. We're gonna put in this little bowl, just like so. And I'm gonna season it a little bit as well. And then if you will, let's come back with some fresh jalapenos. All right, I'm gonna get my glove for that. <laughs> yes, well, you should. So what do you know about this bald knob place? The kid said it's very scary. So, so it's really haunted, is it? It's really, it's seriously haunted, yes. There's real monsters there, not fake monsters. Real monsters. Yeah, will you be scared? Nah. Yes, you will. I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> So we're gonna put one, one and a half in here. Now, in here with this cream cheese, they're gonna get a little bit softer and the cream cheese is gonna take on the taste of all this. These are not gonna be fattening. Now I'm gonna take this dish right here, I'm gonna place gently right next to our fork. That looks now, good. you could do this again, cowboy cooking. Again, right. the weather was an issue today. But you could do this cowboy cooking style this is a 10 inch pan, and we're just gonna put it in the oven. 350. Okay. Now you want this falling off the bone, so I'm thinking around three hours, 350. Yeah, it looks good just sitting there like Doesn't that. Doesn't it look good? Doesn't yeah. it smell good? Mm hmm. So I'm gonna take me some chicken broth, which I've already put in there. I don't know, probably what, a half a cup. Right. I'm gonna take some apple juice. You know what? If you got a little apple cider vinegar in it, it gives a little tart good. smell. Yeah. And you can put a little white wine in there if you'd like. Put just a shot of that in there. And just, I don't know, a uh, quarter of a cup white wine. white wine. So now, I'm going to take this top, Nikki, if you will, place that in the oven Alrighty. at 350. So, now we wait. Let's clean this up and okay. let's prepare our dessert slash whatever you want to call it. Vegetable. It's a vegetable. Yeah, yeah hey. we can have a vegetable. Yeah. It's healthy. These look rather fallish and pumpkin y, don't they? They do. You know, speaking of Halloween and Christmas, mm -hmm. I love I love them all. You love your holidays. I love holidays. It's your Greek heritage. That's right. You have it's, to. It's a party. You have to celebrate. You do. Okay. You know, um, <laughs> you made me dress up and do silly things. It was my idea. You had so much fun, and you know well, you did. I you had more I fun did. than me. Okay. <laughs> but a couple years ago, we started the Halloween tradition, and um, let's take a look back. This is kind of embarrassing, but the first year, it was a kind of a '50s flashback. Mm -hmm. uh, it was more well, more '70s. I love Priscilla. it. Priscilla. And, and Alice. <laughs> you know what? What? As the clock strikes midnight, remember Charlie Brown and Great Pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Watch this, it. let's see what happens. Oh, Great Pumpkin, you fiendish little ghoul. Let's conjure up some spirits. I hope they're kind of cool. Ow. Ah. Oh, hey, hey, Priscilla, it's been a while. Uh, where's Linda? Oh, That's not nice. My Linda. Where are we? What's going on? Who's Tim Farmer? Who's Tim Farmer? I don't know. Ah, what's up with that, baby? I like it. You like it? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, oh. This is kind of cool. It makes me hungry. You know what I want? Look, look what I got. Oh, I got yeah. some nanners, baby. 
You know what else I got? I got some peanut butter, baby. You know what Mama used to fix me a long time ago? I know. Peanut butter and diner sandwiches. <laughs> Now, if that wasn't bad enough, the following year you decided to step it up a notch and we came in with scary effects. We came in with the, you know, the haunted house you and had lightning. Fun. You had fun with and that one. And the next thing you know, we're <laughs> Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. And you know what? I think you were scared of me at first, but then the next thing you know, I fell in you, love. you were chasing me. That's right. So that was pretty interesting. So take a look at that real quick. So that was fun, I gotta admit. You had fun. Yeah. I, could, like, I wasn't creative this year, so you have to take me to a haunted house, so well, that's good. We'll do that, we'll okay. do that. Kelly made us do that. That's right. All right, let's pop the tops off these little guys. And again, it's a dumpling squash and an acorn squash. And what we're gonna do, Miss Farm, if you will, if you'll cut these right down the center. Cut that right down the center. We're gonna scoop his guts out. All right, we're just gonna scoop that out. Don't go too deep, we wanna save our, our mighty healthy vegetable, which is about to be obscenely sprinkled with sweetening stuff, which is all good though. That's right. Now, you remember our apple juice we had a little while ago? Yes. I'm gonna save some of that, I'm gonna put in the bottom of this pan. Okay. And just penetrate just a little bit with our fork, so it'll cook better. We're gonna place them in the pan. It's gonna be a perfect size pan for that. Those will hold each other up, mm -hmm. therefore, Perfect. they will spill out their yummy contents. All right, so we've got a little bit of our apple juice in there because we're not putting any sweet stuff in here. All right, here we go. What we're gonna do, if you'll give me a dab of butter for each okay. one. Now, we're gonna start with a dab of butter because isn't that a great way to start? You gotta have butter. If it doesn't have butter, it's not good. It's one in each? Mm hmm Actually, you can put a little bit more in that if you want. Really? Then we're gonna come back with some brown sugar. It's making my mouth water. It does Just look good. Just knowing what this is going to taste like. Three quarters of a tablespoon on each one. And after we come back with our brown sugar, Nikki, if you will, just a, just a tiny bit of nutmeg. Okay. Now, as if the brown sugar wasn't sweet enough, this is 100% real maple syrup. This is a good vegetable. We're having oh, this yeah. is delicious. Healthy vegetable. Mm -hmm. Now, this... Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. It's going to go in the oven at 350. Okay. It's already set up and ready to go. When this is almost done, we'll set that in there. Okay. And then uh, we'll get that going. Now, we've got some of our coleslaw here, which is pretty good coleslaw. It's delicious yeah. coleslaw. And we've got some sour cream. We've got some fresh tomatoes. We've got some hot sauce. You can put anything you want on this. Remember, it's pork. Right. So Yum. with me, it's gotta be got, slow. Yeah. We've got hard tacos, soft tacos, and we've got a wonderful smell in this cabin. Yes, we do. Isn't it mm -hmm. heavenly? It smells really good. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna help you get that out. Okay. See that bone sticking out, Mrs. Farmer? Yeah. You know what that means? It's done. Look at those onions. <laughs> Now, oh, wow. there's not a huge amount of meat here, as you can see. The jalapenos and the cream cheese. Oh, man. Yum. How much stuff can you put on a taco? <laughs> You're about to find out. Ready to get started? Yes, I am. You want soft or hard? How about I do soft and you do hard? That sounds like a plan. Okay. All right, here's how we're going to start. Tell me if I go wrong here. I'm going to just go with the meat. Now, there's not a whole lot of meat on a shank. This is enough for you and I. 
Mm -hmm. But if we had company, we'd want two or maybe three, depending on right. how many people we have. You can smell that mustard a little bit. You can taste the mustard in that. Yeah. Look at that. Now, on top of that, look here. I know you. I know you want. Oh yeah. Some of these. I have an onion. Gonna have some of these onions that we pulled out of this juice. Yeah. That's not gonna be good. Look, look at that. Oh yum. With the jalapenos already ready to go. Wow. Put that in here to give it just a little bit of. Those are fresh. So now, you want some of this? Yes. Just a little, a little bit of everything. A little bit of salsa. Just a little bit. Coleslaw. A little bit of coleslaw. Yeah, let's go straight coleslaw. Now you know what? A little sour cream. A little sour cream. Should you want a little hot sauce? Just a little, tiny. A little bit of tomatoes too, might as well. This is a whole meal here. All right, Mrs. Ready? Fine. Look at that. I don't know if I can eat all this. I don't know what to hold over. Wow. Wow. That's really good. What a great way to use a pork shank. Now, to, to most people, pork shank is something you put in a soup. Right. Or soup beans, which is great for that. It's delicious. But that meat next to that bone like that and it's slow really cooked, oh my. After we're done, we'll come back and sample our vegetable dessert. Our vegetable dessert, <laughs> but these are wow. outstanding pork shank tacos. All right, before we try the dessert, I'm gonna say one thing. What? You should be glad you put your rubber gloves on before you hand the jalapenos. I know, I feel them on my lips, but they're good. We left the seeds in. That is delicious, though. Wow. <laughs> you know when you sweat right under here? That means they're hot. Mm. Sour right. cream helped it, though. Yeah. I think I had <laughs> two tablespoons of that by itself. All right, I'm gonna try the acorn. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, now, wow. <laughs> wow, that's really good. It tastes like green pumpkin pie or something, doesn't it? Mm. Man, oh man. Now naturally, those squash, just when you cut them, they have a, well, the acorn squash right. had kind of a nutty smell to it. Dumpling was about the same. But talk about enhancing that flavor by putting a little bit of sugar in there. That's really I good. I could eat all of those Are you going right to share? Now. Can you share? I will share okay. with you. But you know what? It's time. It's starting to get dark out. Okay. It's not quite dark yet, but we'll take our little trip. Okay. <laughs> because it's Halloween and you got to do what you got to do. I'm a little scared. So, in the spirit of fall, Let's go take a trip to the Bald Knob. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Are you scared? I am scared, actually. Let's go. <laughs> 